Hello there. Welcome back everybody to another Legendary Steve video. I'm super excited to do some more Star Wars stuff. I have not really been on the ball with that. So I would like to start showing Star Wars a little more love. So today we have the... I believe this was a Hasbro Pulse exclusive Star Wars 50th anniversary Han Solo. I will tell you, these are two of my, my most favorite characters in all of Star Wars. So I'm very happy to get my hands on this Star Wars Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. He was very hard to get a hold of. I mean, I, yeah, I, I have an extra one and I was thinking about doing a, uh, a giveaway with him but uh, I'm gonna need to see some likes and some comments and some subscribings and some bell dingies anyways but this is what we have for today showing Star Wars love repping the holocrons and our sweet Rancor shirt super excited about that new has lab we're already up I think I checked a little while ago we're like four thousand almost 5,000 so the initial excitement has worn off slightly but we will still make it I know it this is gonna happen just like Galactus mark my words but uh, yeah let's get this thing open let's do this I'm excited alrighty so here we have the 50th Lucasfilm anniversary Han Solo I don't think this is a blister card actually I don't know. I'm still not good with these terms. But Han Solo. One of my favorite characters. Uh, my all-time favorite Star Wars movie is Empire Strikes Back. So he looked like this in Empire Strikes Back. But it's great. This was more like... Uh, it's saying it's pretty much from the first original three. So the, the New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi... Great looking figure. I mean, we'll get a close up of his face, but man, does that look like Harrison Ford. Great. Great packaging. Great looking figure. I'm super excited to open this up. I normally keep a lot of my Star Wars stuff in their boxes. I don't know why, but I just feel, I just feel like keeping them in their boxes, but it's time to bring them out. It is. So we got all this cool packaging. Some stuff on the back there and then the nice card it's pretty awesome got a little thing you can cut out kind of tells facts about Han Solo and all that stuff but yeah let's get this bad boy open I'm excited all right so here we have unboxed Han Solo so I did pre-order the Greedo that was part of like they were released at the same time same style um card back you know packaging and stuff like that i did pre-order that greedo but he hasn't showed up yet a little sad but super excited to get him because uh, playing around with this figure man he super detailed his boots uh, are like uh they feel like what's that faux leather called pleather like they feel like it's weird. They they have like a different texture than his pants and then his vest and stuff like that. His hands and articulation. I'm actually really impressed with this. Like they kind of went, I feel like all out on this. His arms are like thinner. You know, they're not just rounded. Like they feel very anatomically correct. And the way that he can hold some of these guns i mean oh that's cool his one thing i kind of don't like is that this stormtrooper belt doesn't even really fit around him i don't know how you're supposed to get that on i could just be missing something so his belt does come off but man that thing i feel like that would be too hard to get around maybe it does but i'm guessing you could just take this off and put this back on but we'll keep that on for now but he's got his sweet pistol with his little little holster there and the details on his jacket. I mean, this is a this is a win. Like way to go 
Hasbro, man. This is, the face on there looks amazing. Again, this is one of my favorite characters from Star Wars, so really super cool to have a figure that is this detailed and this, like, correct. This looks like Harrison Ford. This looks like Han Solo. So this this pleases me a lot. I He was a little expensive uh, compared to other figures. I think he was like 30 bucks. But honestly, this this feels worth it. I uh, yeah, the difference in textures, the details on the pants, the coat, the belt itself, his little stormtrooper, you know, walkie-talkie thing, that is that's just really cool. They they did a really good job on this. The detail around the collar on his vest and this is this is a crazy cool figure. So we will definitely get a close up of this, but let's uh let's bust open the super elusive General Kenobi. So here we have General Kenobi. And this is from the Clone Wars, but it's not very animated as you can tell. You can see the animated version right there. I don't know if there's a glare or not, but the animated version right there. And then you've got the, the figure. So this is more of a, a realistic, I guess, because this looks like you and McGregor. It's crazy. So I cannot wait to open this thing up. This, I got this, I think, for like 50 bucks. It's kind of, I know, it sucks. But I had to get my hands on one. So here we are. And again, I do have another one. So please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Maybe you will we'll start a giveaway because I do have some some pretty crazy stuff to give away. Um, but yeah, let's open this bad boy up. So let's talk General Kenobi. Man, I feel like on these 50th anniversary figures, they are killing it. The, the quality of these figures is intense, okay? The, the details on his boots and his trooper armor is crazy cool crazy cool um and he's got his his robes and in his little ab crunch he's got um which he doesn't have too much but but it moves still it, it looks like it's folded down in there they did a very good job building this he's got his little emblem there that kind of matte matte uh armor and the details on his belt and his robes and his face like i said it looks like ian mcgregor they did a great job on this even the lightsaber is very like well painted there's not a lot of like mistakes even i don't even see any honestly this thing is crazy cool and what an iconic character you know because that that series was epic and started a lot of like new characters or characters that weren't seen in the movies you know that's a big deal so being able to have a figure from that line that was very iconic and having the new obi-wan series come out i mean having this guy it's awesome it is very awesome i'm very pleased with this figure i'm sad you know he was so expensive but honestly is kind of worth it like if you are into obi-wan this is a definite figure to go and grab but man man alive i i can't i really like the look of him the feel of him this is a high quality action figure good job hasbro yet again it's amazing uh and like i said the lightsaber is super detailed barely any paint missing or wrong on this thing and han solo the lightsaber is killer and and the the way that he moves he's pretty pretty much normal he's not anything too special but he's got you know he doesn't have the butterfly joints uh, but he does move very well the one thing i am a little sad about is the hands uh, it would have been cool to have an extra set of hands with each of these guys, but I am happy with the hands that they sent us. But I would have liked, you know, like a little a, a fist so he could hold or or a, a force hand or something like that, especially for the price. And I know when these started, or at least when this guy started, he was not crazy expensive. But 
with Han Solo, he is more expensive. He was like around 30 bucks, I think. And it would have been nice to have an extra set of hands. But again, I'm not going to complain. I am very happy with these figures. So let's uh, let's get some close-ups. And so you can, get, you can see these up close. <laughs> let's go. bad boys they are worth it in my mind i i definitely would pay good money for these figures and i did but a uh, great addition to my collection i am going to try and do a lot more star wars videos just because book of boba fett's coming up and some other good star wars stuff um end of this year and beginning of next so I gotta, I gotta catch up. I gotta get, show some Star Wars love. You know what I mean? So, here it is. Super pleased with these, as you could probably tell. Um, my, one of, or two of my most favorite characters in all of Star Wars. I do really, really like Revan, mainly because he's got that double lightsaber and dark side light side thing going on. And if you ever played Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, that's, I get you. Yeah, whenever that figure comes in, I'll definitely do a video on him, but go get yourself a Han Solo and an Obi-Wan, a general Obi-Wan. Get ready for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. I'm so excited about that, and I better not mess it up because it means a lot to us. Do better. Anyways, um, but yeah, super pleased with these great figures. High quality. I mean, I am, I am very impressed with these. They look amazing, feel great. I'd give these a 10 out of 10, not even gonna lie. Except for it would be nice to have an extra set of hands, maybe an extra set of head heads. You don't really need them, but I mean, it'd just be fun if you're setting up different things and they're not just like, I mean, Han Solo's it, base looks great, but he's very like, kind of looks like he's sniffing something and it's a little funky but it looks just like Harrison Ford it's great it's great I know sniffing something funky and then he's just kind of like got the the saucy vibe with his little Jedi eyes going on there he's like what's up baby oh sorry that was weird. um no it's great head sculpts great head sculpts but it would have been nice to kind of get like an extra set and an extra set of hands. It would have been awesome. This would have made these like 11 out of 10s, okay? This is amazing. Anyways, but please like and subscribe. If you want more Star Wars content, let me know. Comment. Tell me. If you wanted me to, to do different things or do videos on certain figures or had any questions, I'll try to answer as best as I can or do videos on them. But yeah, please like and subscribe. Remember to be legendary, my friends, and we will see you in the next video.